Okay, so it's a little bit everywhere at the moment. Okay, well, yes. Some of these I have done since coming back, returning, and then some of them are painted on the spot. This one is, uh, even if it's, it is chronologically also a lot later in my stay, but then it was painted while being here. So, so, so like, so warm, so bright, so, uh, yeah. so it just drew me straight away when I came in, in the oh, room. It's, uh, it's like really joyful. Yeah, I love it, yeah. Color is quite present in my work, not to say mm. It was really nice to see Patrick. For the exhibition, Patrick and I are going to be collaborating in how we present all of the artwork and then for him how to compose and present music to complement the storyline of the exhibition. And it was really interesting to have yet another kind of art form come into the picture and talk about the best way to encapsulate the narrative that we want to portray to the audience when they come in. This is really a musical painting, if I can say something like that. The, uh, in, uh, it makes me think of, um, I suppose, um, 19th century romantic music. I mean, Impressionist painting is often associated with these people like Claude Debussy, and mm. I can really feel that uh, in the painting, this, this movement, this sort of emphasizing um, the beauty in the music for the sake of it. Being lost in nature, I think, is a good theme for all of this. Nature being a huge inspiration for the romantics of that time, of course. It was really interesting to hear the thoughts that he had on the pictures that he saw. A lot of them were well, really lovely feedback, but also interesting because he's not only visited Japan, but explored other parts of Asia. So there were some images that he found quite recognizable. But mainly we explored the space and tried to envision what a potential exhibition might look like, how we'd want to curate uh, not only the visuals, but then the experience that an audience might have, how we'd marry that with music that he could compose, other composers could come into the picture. It's all just ideas at the moment, but it's, um, it's exciting to incorporate another art form. Like the, the, what I like to do with improvisation is to start with a, a structure and a, and a melody that you have already. It could be something, I love taking ancient melodies uh, and seeing where you can, uh, what you can make from it, how you can explore using that as your starting point. When you do that, do you, uh, are you taking from the outside and kind of like turning it in and then projecting it out? Or is it simply, is it just coming from in to out, if you know what I mean. What you're taking is the inspiration, so in this case this art, um, or the melodies themselves, and they get internalized and mixed with yourself. You can't d disentangle yourself from, from what it is. It's been really wonderful uh, getting to know Yasmin's work. It seems like a absolutely wonderful time uh, that was had there, and it's straight away evident in, in the pictures. You can see how the seasons have changed and how the paintings themselves change from one to another. Um, there's a really feeling of uh, a journey that comes out of the work, something that I can really identify with. It's a different medium, but in music, I, I love when there is some sense of, of change, of movement, uh, of a journey taking place throughout music. Um, and yeah, that was something that really was immediately apparent from this work from Yasmin. There's so much life in these paintings, I want to meet it with something equally as as full of life, and there's nothing in music more than full of life than, than having um, a live musician perform in the space. So this is where the idea came together to have a concert of sorts, but uh, not a regular kind of concert. But then the question is, of course, well, where do you go with the music? There's some things, obviously, that are immediately suggested by the paintings. The, the setting is so so vital to this project. That element will certainly come into the music on some level, but uh, 
again, for me, the, the journey is something that uh, these paintings really speak about. So I thought I'd love to get something of that across in the music. There's no better way to get a sense of something new being experienced, a journey being gone on, an adventure in music, than using some improvised elements. Music that is taken on a journey itself, really, and open and um, taken with the discretion of the, the performing musicians uh, to new areas. Um, that is something that I think reflects the, the life and uh, the, the movement and the joy as well that's, that's in a lot of these paintings. So the idea of this exhibition is essentially a culmination of this work, of this body of work, this Kyoto series. Ideally I'd like it to be almost a glimpse of my travel there, of the experience that uh, myself and the people I was with had. We experienced so much, we met so many people and we watched the landscape change. And aside from this I'd also want people to come into a journey that narratively shows the changing of the seasons, the, the generosity of the people that we met, and giving people a little glimpse of what we experienced. Mm -hmm.